Localization and Community-Led Development Localization and community-led development has emerged as a key strategy across various sectors, particularly in humanitarian and development work. The localization agenda aims to empower local actors, communities, organizations, and governments to take charge of designing and implementing solutions tailored to their unique challenges and contexts. Key Components of Localization and Community-Led Development 1. Shifting power and resources to local actors. O trend, localization seeks to transfer decision making authority and resources to local actors. This involves transitioning from international organizations being the primary implementers to local entities taking the lead. O actions, increase funding and resources allocated to local organizations and communities. Promote local ownership of projects from design to execution. Support capacity building initiatives to enhance local organizations' ability to manage projects, engage with donors, and operate independently. Two. Promoting local leadership and decision making. O trend, localization emphasizes local leadership, ensuring that community leaders and organizations are at the forefront of designing, implementing, and evaluating interventions. O actions, incorporate local voices in the design and planning stages of programs. Co create solutions with communities, ensuring their aspirations and needs are prioritized. Develop accountability frameworks to guarantee that local decision-making processes are inclusive and transparent. 3. Partnerships over subcontracting. O trend, moving from a model of subcontracting local actors to establishing equal partnerships. Localization encourages collaborative, long-term partnerships where both international and local organizations share responsibility. O actions, develop genuine partnerships that are equitable and collaborative, ensuring mutual benefit. Create shared decision-making structures that give local actors a significant role in governance. Build trust and respect between local and international organizations, fostering a more sustainable partnership. Four. Capacity strengthening and institutional support. O trend, localization requires investing in the capacity of local actors to ensure they are well prepared to manage complex projects and meet donor requirements. O actions, provide technical training, mentorship, and capacity building support in areas such as financial management, reporting, and monitoring and evaluation. Strengthen local systems and processes to ensure local organizations can operate at the same level as international counterparts. Encourage peer learning and knowledge sharing among local actors. 5. Adapting funding models. O trend, traditional funding models often favor larger, international organizations. Localization calls for adapting funding models to ensure local organizations can access financial resources more equitably. O actions, advocate for more flexible funding arrangements that allow direct support to local organizations. Simplify reporting and administrative processes to reduce barriers for smaller organizations. Encourage donors to adopt pool funding models that allow local actors to access resources collectively. Benefits of localization. Contextually relevant and sustainable programs, local actors have an in-depth understanding of the challenges and opportunities within their communities, ensuring that interventions are context-specific and more likely to succeed. Programs that are designed and led by local actors tend to be more sustainable because they are rooted in the community's needs and capacities. Building local resilience. Localization strengthens local institutions and systems, increasing resilience within communities. This is particularly important in fragile or conflict-affected contexts, where local actors are often the first responders. Trust and ownership. When communities are empowered to lead their own development, it fosters a sense of ownership and trust in the process. This enhances community engagement and increases the likelihood of achieving long-term impact. Challenges in localization. Capacity gaps. Many local organizations may lack the financial, administrative, or technical capacity to manage large-scale projects. International actors must invest in capacity building efforts to ensure local organizations are prepared to take on these responsibilities. Funding constraints. Many donors still prefer to fund international organizations due to concerns about local organizations' ability to comply with stringent donor requirements. Overcoming these constraints requires advocacy for more flexible and accessible funding mechanisms for local actors. Power imbalances, shifting power to local actors can be challenging, especially when international organizations are accustomed to leading interventions. 
Addressing these imbalances requires a commitment to more equitable partnerships, with a focus on shared decision-making and mutual respect. Localization in practice. Localization is seen in many sectors, from humanitarian aid to development initiatives, where international organizations collaborate with local NGOs, governments, and community leaders. This allows local actors to take the lead in delivering essential services and solutions, especially in hard-to-reach or conflict-affected areas. Conclusion Localization and community-led development are essential for creating sustainable, effective, and contextually appropriate solutions. As the global landscape continues to shift, organizations across sectors are realizing that empowering local actors is not only more effective but also more ethical. The localization agenda seeks to ensure that those closest to the challenges are empowered to lead, creating more resilient, adaptable, and inclusive solutions. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel.